Hi everyone. Uh, from now on, I am going to prepare uh, some clip uh, uh, about the question that subscriber or members ask on in the channel. And uh, since some it seems some of those uh, topics or issue I didn't maybe explain very well, or there is some still unclarity about that uh, subject. I uh, find those questions uh, that important and I think it's common and there is some uh, practical point. I will prepare uh, in, in short clip uh, and give the answer for that uh, those questions that you have it. So this is the first one one of the member asked why I mentioned in one lecture that measuring aortic root on the p axis is more accurate and reliable than the plaques. Why? Let's see, go on the plaques, how we measure and what is what are our assumption. The first assumption is that we assume aortic root is uh, circular and concentric. That is not right. Many cases, aortic root is not circular, is oval shape. Second, uh, we use it cooptation as a landmark that uh, when we cooptation at the center or concentric, we know our uh, sector sound pass through the center of the aortic root, uh, and this yellow one. And with the sliding a little left to right, make it more largest based on the eyeball, eyeball guess, guessing, then we freeze it and then we measure at endostolic outer tweener at the sinus or salva to the posterior. But there is, uh, as I mentioned, uh, those two assumptions will be break in many situations. First of all, as I mentioned many times, aortic root is not circular shape. Second, in many cases, we don't have cooptation concentric like the bicuspid aortic valve or aortic calcification, stenosis, uh, fusion of the cusp due to rheumatic fever or whatever pathology, we lose our landmark. And just with fanning left and right the sliding, it will be not 100% accurate for measurement. But when we go PZAX, how? Here, first of all, we can find exactly uh, with the fanning toward the base or, or sliding toward the base of the heart or toward the apex, we can survey the all uh, aortic root. You know, aortic root starts from sinotubular junction to the aortic uh, ring, that annulus. So we can, with the sweeping up and down and or fanning up and down and twisting correctly, correctly we can find the largest at the level of coronary sinus with Mercedes-Benz sign clear, then we can measure any dimension is the largest. For example, on this case, and if we measure on the plaques, our plaques dimension, this will be this yellow one. But as you can see here, the left coronary sinus to the non-coronary sinus dimension is larger than that one. So uh, the real number will be this one if we want to take it in the follow-up and we have to check it every time for follow-up if the patient has dilatation we have to go see which dimension is largest one uh, so uh, in another word whenever you do plaques and you see enlargement or generally when you go to the PZAX just look at that aortic uh, roots and see if any asymmetric and dilatation is present or not if there is add on to your measurement. I hope it, it answered to that person uh, and uh, other people use it too. Up to the next time. Have a wonderful time. Don't, hesita don't hesitate. Don't be shy. If you have any question, even simplest question, you think simplest, uh, don't wait and message and text me on the channel. Bye-bye.